Fifth Vision was probably very uh, against this idea to give Van Halen out for free. And I got Van Halen, and it rocked. And so that's basically how the Guitar Hero series got killed by Activision. Activision kills. They suck out all your money, and they leave back question service. Next, Modern Warfare 2. Okay, the Call of Duty series um, always had Activision in it, and Guitar Hero 1, 2, and 3 were like pretty good. Actually, 1, 2, 3, and 4 were actually pretty good. I mean, there weren't that many bugs, you know, there would be an occasional bug here and there, online, or campaign, or something, you know, just occasional, because there were beta tests for those games. Then World of War comes out. Activision is a part of that, but Treyarch, Treyarch, whatever, is also part of it. Treyarch was also part of COD 3, which was one of my favorites. But, Trey, um, Activision sucked money. The map packs cost so much money for that. Then came Modern Warfare 2. Bug filled, glitch filled, everything filled that is chunk. There wasn't even a beta test. Okay? There was not even a beta test. And then, you know, third day along, everyone's complaining about how bad the game is. So they patch it about two weeks later. Oh, five days later. Oh, another glitch happens. Oh, and then we have to fix all this. See, if there was a beta test, they would have had this done beforehand. So there would be no, oh, I wish I could go back. Because there wouldn't. It would just be like, oh, yeah, it's a maximum game. But now people are getting pissed at IW for this. No, it's Activision. Activision is the one that wanted the date. Because Infinity Ward, there was rumor that it wanted to come out in December. Because they're not all about, ooh, money, forget the customers. So yeah, Activision, I hate. Next comes along StarCraft 2. Activision merged with Blizzard. But what happens is, Blizzard, um, Activision can't touch what's in Blizzard's pocket. So like, they can't touch what's Blizzard doing. But the Blizzard has to respond to the same stakeholders. So like, the people. So say if they want to move a due date back. Like, a de deadline. Like, the stakeholders would be like, oh, whoa, whoa, why is this game moved? Activision, it would never be late. But Blizzard wants their games to be perfect. Quality over quantity. Now EA comes in. They come out with a game every year. Okay. A different sports game. What, you move a couple players around? There's new players? Like, just one new stadium? Are you kidding me? Just a couple new graphics. Well, Madden 10 is pretty cool. But are you kidding me? The game that often? Wow, give me a break. Basically, because in StarCraft, the beta was awesome. I mean, the game, the StarCraft is amazing. But, and so is Blizzard, they're amazing too. But Battle.net 2.0? Oh, off. Because they're trying to make it so you have to buy a ton of copies for the game so you, you can, there's no X run. Which is awful. Next, there's no LAN. Are you kidding? No LAN? That's the basis. So it's basically like saying, say if a tree grows, it's basically like killing the roots of the tree. Because LAN was a thing that started online. It started online play. But no, Blizzard says, our games can be so good that we don't need LAN. Give me a break. LAN was the basis for online. You never kill the basis, you leave it. Because LAN parties were the funnest thing I've ever done. Well, not the funnest thing, but for video game related, playing in the same room with an opponent is way more fun than playing over a computer, over a distance, because you can smack talk to their face. But no, because Blizzard wants to prevent piracy, which I understand, but why should everyone have to suffer for that? It's Activision. They want everyone to buy a game copy, so they make 60 bucks per person. And the same person in Activision wants to raise video game prices. $59.99 is expensive. Okay, and they want to raise it to, what, $75? Like, inflation, yeah, I know. But are you kidding? $75. I know I'm saying 
are you kidding me a lot in this video, but really, $75 for a video game? Well, Activision's never going to get any more video game sales, but they want to. It's dumb. Some companies want to lower video game prices. Like, um, all this one Japanese game, all the Japanese game that I play are $45, I think. So yeah, Japanese games know what they're doing. All in all, Activision is a corrupt company. At first, you know, they didn't want the money. They wanted to get popular. So that's pretty much phase one. Phase two is, you know, they get a bunch of mergers. And three, they screw over all the customers. Are you kidding? Why? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry for saying, are you kidding me a lot? It's one of my favorite lines. Or give me a break. I'm like husky. So, um, it's awful. And, uh, watch Husky's video, it'll, uh, type in Husky StarCraft, or, it's his most viewed video, just type in, uh, State of Battlement 2.0, and you're good to go, so. Yeah. This is The Holy Man, signing out.